you stop making your Harry Seacombe part three that thanks to Neil and Sophie that thanks to Peter that thanks to Peter and this thanks to me the back end of Harry Seacombe was just in primer that couldn't remain because it would be porous so I had to spray it with a rattle can and this is the result I sprayed this a few days ago and today I've just used the good old buffing machine to bring it to a shine and it ain't half bad but it does have a few imperfections on the repair that I didn't think to flat out further such as that scratch there or oh, this bit this bit here yeah that wants a bit more work actually other than that it's it's not bad not bad at all now if I was to take that to a body shop I'd be looking at at least probably 100 100 maybe a bit more than 100 pounds and uh, that would be with mates rates and the trouble with mates and rates and things like that is then it's swapping favors so I would have to pay that and then be indebted to somebody else many many years ago I had a green Honda Prelude and the bonnet got damaged it got vandalized basically and uh, the bonnet needed respraying the bonnet on a prelude is probably a bit longer than this nevertheless I took it uh, it cost me 250 pounds to have resprayed and that was oh gosh 20 years ago 250 pound 20 years ago that would probably be more like 450 pounds now wouldn't it and looking back it wasn't a brilliant job it wasn't perfect you could see it was very orange peely and the chap didn't stick the badge back on properly and you could tell where it had been vandalized still yes so mm, paint spraying isn't that straightforward you've got to be patient I know this I've tried it many a time and failed but as I keep doing it I'm getting gradually better but am I at the stage where I would dare to respray a whole bonnet with a couple of rattle cans and I think that I am because the white bonnet really spoils this now I keep thinking there couldn't be a worse color bonnet for this particular car nightfire red and white uh, it's a bit it's like having cream on top of strawberry jelly how that analogy is of any use or not I have got no idea yesterday a rather tall man was here and he said something similar although he well, what he actually said was it makes it look like a mini cab and I think that's I think that's what I dislike about it the most That was quite a lot of paint a tin and a half of nightfire red and about a tin and a half of big a big tin and a half of lacquer as well and the job is well uh, the lacquer kept splattering so it comes out in not really exactly a an even fan but it would and i'd shook it properly I shook it for ages then bits of splatter and things so I'm just hoping that what will happen is that when it's dried off and gone really hard in a few days I can rub it back and buff it flat just like I did with the uh, quarter panel
the continuing and most exciting episode of Harry Seacombe. And there is Harry Seacombe with his bonnet freshly sprayed, well, two days ago in fact, being baked in the heat. Should be ready to have a flattening. Although the only trouble is, it's so dusty out there, people coming in and out. Uh, I'm going to have to be really careful. I'm going to have to use lots and lots of water. Every car is covered in sand at the moment, so that's got to come off first. The exciting below uh, thingy lockup. Uh, how far did I do that? Right. That's one and a half. That's about as much as it can tolerate before the pipe shoots off. Not interested in watching me wash a car, but you may be interested in seeing how good the finished result is. Ba -da 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 -da. Yes. Now, I've just washed. <laughs> I've just washed Harry, dear Harry there, and uh, rinsed it. And then with some two and a half thousand grit paper, I've just gone over the bonnet and now it looks worse, but that's the idea. And so we reach the end of Harry Seacombe episode two. Or is it three? I don't remember. But it doesn't matter because... Uh, because it doesn't matter, does it? From what this car looked like last week, I would say this is quite a success. First of all, the rear end here does look much better. Although this filler flap, from this angle, it looks lighter. And then from this angle, it looks darker. Strange that. But the paint job itself, four rattle cans, I am very pleased with. It could be a bit better, could spend a bit more time flattening that, but you know, I'm going to stop. The bonnet, on the other hand, was much, much more of a challenge, not just because it's a much bigger surface area, but because of spraying down rather than up or across it means you get splatter. Yeah. So there were quite a few drops of paint happening and then because of the fan size on an aerosol with a slightly checkered uh, finish if I stand in front of it there you can see it looks almost tartan <laughs> that'd be an interesting effect but it rather depends on which angle you know from there it looks perfectly fine from there you can see something and then back from this side again all perfectly good I am 90% happy with that job there are just a couple of bits like that but there's really not that many I'm very very pleased with it unfortunately I did manage to scratch it though there we can see that that scratch just there there's a couple more just there as well. That might make it look a bit more like an original paint job. Anyway, that is overall better than I was expecting it to be. So I am happy. This has meant that actually I want to take this car home tonight rather than uh, Windsor Davis because this one, well, it is still quite a bit less but it's not precious is it it's still not a precious car so um, although I've been quite comfortable leaving the other 600 outside this one I'm even more so but now I'm thinking of the rest of the bits that need doing on it overall the front bumper really isn't particularly uh, good it's got all sorts of gravel rash everywhere and then there's another nasty bit there some horrid bits just there and then that bit there I resprayed uh, because that was the worst bit. In a couple of days I'm going to do a rather special comparison video between Harry Seacombe and Windsor Davis. Now obviously the nicer car is Windsor with its leather seats and four electric windows and 
automatic gearbox and you know just generally it looks a lot nicer but will I actually prefer this one yeah, good question because I'm a, I have a bit of a funny one when it comes to cars you know one downside to all this painting on this car is the solvent smell in the car obviously the solvent's gone but it's left behind a kind of after smell that smells a bit like puke goodbye Few of us would go to the dark, dingy snooker room and drink beer and be bad at snooker and talk to the shady, low-level gangsters for a couple of hours, and I loved it.